Hi, my name is Ken Hill. We're here today at Kentucky Speedway with the brand new 2016 Honda Pilot. The exercise we're about to go through is experiencing CMBS or their crash mitigation braking system. As we pull forward to where the uh, exercise starts, we'll mention that uh, the CMBS for Honda now uses a combination of their monochromatic camera as well as the radar system. Both the, the hardware is used in their adaptive cruise control, but in CMBS what it's really looking for is uh, different objects, different sizes, as well as relative motion. So for example, if you're in a slow speed urban area like in a school zone, the system has a, a wide angle of view and it's looking for smaller objects like children on bicycles or pedestrians. As our speeds increase uh, to interstate speeds, that field of view actually narrows down and we start looking more for larger objects, uh, trucks and other vehicles and that kind of thing. Their system has the ability to be turned off. There's a button in the lower left corner of the dash. We can maybe turn the wheel a little bit as we press that and hold it in the dashboard. There's an audible alarm and it'll come up and tell us that collision mitigation has been disabled. The same button then pressed and held will turn it back on. The real world uh, use for that comes down to potentially in some traffic situations where it's not just stopped gridlock but where you get traffic that centipedes where you'll accelerate up to 10 or 15 miles an hour and then back to a stop accelerate back up back to a stop you have the ability to turn the system off so you're not always getting that warning likewise in a, a sport activity vehicle like this if you're taking it to your cabin up in the woods someplace and you're following a forest service road a winding road through trees the system will see those trees as a direct object it could flag them as a potential collision again being able to turn that system off will prevent those false positives during that kind of a commute for what we're doing now in this exercise we're going to approach a, uh, a balloon car a blow-up car and we're going to do it at about 20 miles an hour just to keep it safe in our parking lot example it's again simulating a, a low speed or urban drive through potentially a school zone or a downtown area Okay, so in this example, a lower speed uh, test just to keep it safe. What we're gonna experience is the three phases of the system activating. At first, we'll get an audible alert, as well as a visual indicator in the main information display telling us to hit the brakes. If we don't respond to that, we'll then get light brake application. It's gonna start slowing down the car. Hopefully in most situations, that's gonna wake up the driver and make them aware that they need to apply the brakes themselves. If we still don't respond, the car has the ability to put 0.8 G's worth of brake force into the system. It's gonna be a dramatic stop and it'll stop us well in front of, uh, of hitting the device in front of us. So when you're ready, we're just gonna accelerate gently up to about 20 to 25 miles an hour. We'll hold it steady there, and as we approach the car, I'm actually going to take my feet off the pedals and tuck them up under the seat. There's our first set, and full brakes. We have about five seconds to touch the brake pedal again as the system releases and gives operation control back to the driver. And you can see at those speeds, 20 to 25, we still stopped about a foot and a half short of the collision. As our speeds increase, we are obviously going to get a little bit closer. The intent for collision mitigation, it's not called collision avoidance for a reason. Based on traction available, if it's a sandy street, if there's water, snow, ice, something like that, from 70 miles an hour, chances are pretty good that we're not gonna be able to get you completely stopped before an impact or collision takes place. However, we will be on the brakes hard enough to significantly reduce the impact speed to help ensure that the occupants of the vehicle walk away without a scratch. Thank <laughs> you.